when I first took a look at WPA funnels, I was really disappointed because there was no support for Divi, and this is one of the most popular page builders. So after a few weeks, I went back and I noticed that they had included support for Divi, and this really got me very excited. So I decided to install it on my website. So when you first install it, you'll get this. So this is your uh, setup wizard. So you can start here by saying, okay, uh, the funnel type is a sales funnel. You click on next, and this is where you get your builder type. So you click here on the drop down, and now you notice that you have your Gutenberg builder, you have Elementor, Divi, and Oxygen. So this is fantastic. So of course, you know, I'm gonna choose Divi. So I'm gonna select that. And now I'm gonna click on next. Now for permalinks, I'm just gonna use my default WordPress permalink. That's fine. And then I'm gonna hit next. And pretty much this is how you go through the setup wizard. Now there's also some videos that will go through and uh, help you set it up, but let's start creating our funnel. All right, so let's start creating here. Now, when you first set this up, this is what it looks like. Very plain, very uh, basic. Now I was struggling with this a little bit because I was thinking to myself, well, how does the funnel actually materialize from this? But you'll be very, very excited when you see what's gonna happen next. So now I'm gonna click on create your first funnel. Now, straight away, you notice that you have all your templates over here. And I really like this because this just gives me a bird's eye view of all the templates that we have. And they also look like they're well designed, which is super, super awesome. All right. So I'm going to start off with a basic one here. Let's go with ebook pro. So I'm going to click on import. And by the way, you can also start from scratch. Now, here's where things get really, really, really exciting. So this has simplified the whole interface and given me a canvas. Now notice that I haven't gone in and started, you know, dragging things around. It's gone, it went straight into the canvas and now I can visually see where everything is. So now here's the thing. So you may be asking yourself, okay, so what do these pages look like? Uh, I can see the funnel is there. It's been imported for me. Well, if you want to see what the page looks like, you just click here once and then click on this eye icon. And this now is going to show you what the page looks like. Now at this stage, you can now go into your visual builder and start customizing this to your liking. So let's say you want to uh, get rid of this. I can just go in here and delete that. And maybe in the background here, I'm not happy with this circle that we have. You can always go in or even change colors. Of course, if you know how to use Divi, you will notice that this is how you use your page builder normally. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I can also come in here and uh, change this image to my own image. So right now I have this book. I can delete this and add my own image. Now, I'm not sure if I have any images in here, but let's say I want to add this product, upload an image. Now my product has been added and so on. Now I'm not going to save this. Let's go back to our canvas. Now let's move on to the next part, which is quite, uh, quite exciting here. So if I come over here on my checkout, now there's several ways I can customize this. So first of all, I can click here on this gear icon. So this is now going to open up this area here on the right. And I love this because I haven't moved out of my canvas for me to customize my checkout products. So now let's take a look here. So let's say you want to add your product. So I can search for my product here. So I think I have something called product one. And these products, by the way, are from WooCommerce. So you need to have created these products in WooCommerce first. So if I select my product here and click on add product, my product here has been added and the price is there as well. If I need to delete it, I can just click delete and it's gone. If I need to customize it, I can just click on this pencil icon and a new tab is open. I really love this because now it takes me straight into the product in WooCommerce where I can further customize this. So let's say I don't want to have a sale price and I want to sell this at $199. Okay. Once I hit update. Now, if I go back over here and hit save changes and refresh, now you can see my product is at 199. Brilliant. Over here, I can also allow the use of coupons. So I can select that and now I have coupons added. Over here, we have our order bumps. Now this is what I really, really loved about this. Now notice that all these things that I'm doing here, I haven't left this settings panel yet. So if I say, okay, I want to enable my order bump, I can just select it here. And I also have different styles. So let's go with style two and see what this looks like. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. And I can also search for my product here. So let's say my order bump is going to be product two. I can select product two. And there we go. The image here is added really nicely. And I can also go in and start customizing my highlight text. I can also uh, add my checkout label. 
and so on. So as you can see, this is super awesome. Now, of course, when you do a um, order bump, you need to come over here and give some sort of a discount. So I like giving percentages. So let's say uh, percentage and the value here is going to be like, maybe 30% off. So it automatically calculates everything for you. And now you can see here my discounted offer price is now 49 and i can also replace the first product if i need to do it that way so once i'm happy with that i can now hit save changes and pretty much my order bump has been you know set up if i come back over here now to my products we notice that our, our coupon has been added but what if you need to uh, customize our fields so to customize that notice now we have to go to the third tab and these are the fields so let's say this is a digital product I can go in now and start disabling what I don't need. So in my case, I need the first name, last name, and email address. So all this now can be all deactivated because I don't need this. This is not a shipped product. So all I have now is email address. I can now drag it to the top and position it wherever I want. We also have additional fields here. So if I come over here, I can go in and uh, remove that because I may not need this since this is a digital product. Now I'm just going to hit save settings. Now let's take a look and see what our checkout page looks like. So now I'm going to click on this eye icon. So there we go. So we have our first name here, last name, email address. That's all I have. And now over here, I have my total. And if I click here to add my order bump, notice what happens to the pricing. It has now been added. That is super awesome. And once you set up your PayPal and uh, all your other buttons here, you can now click on place order and that will be sent. Now, let's move on to the next part. And this part here is super important for me because when I start designing my checkout page, I need to see what I'm designing. And this is super important for me because I don't want to have a page open separately where I have to keep refreshing to see all the changes. So now when I click on enable builder, I can now come over here and click on this module. And this is a specific module in Divi, which we can go in and customize. Now you notice here on the top, it says WP, uh, WPF checkout settings. I can go in now and uh, change my columns. Maybe I want this as a single column. And if I need to further customize this, I can go in, I can add my background color here uh, to my uh, form. So let's say I'm gonna go with a dark color. I can also come over here to design, go to my sizing here. I can adjust my, uh, my size for my form, just like how you would as you're using Divi. And the really cool thing here is I can go in and specify exactly what I need to go in and change. So my input labels here, for example, I can change my font. So let's say the font I'm going to use here is Poppins. I can select that and now it has been updated. I can also change the color just like that. So this is in real time as I'm changing my colors here, I can see exactly what is happening here, which is super cool and super fast. I can also increase my size here, reduce the size. I can go to my form notice here. I can change uh, the, the background color, maybe change it to that. I can also come over here and go to my form uh, notice uh, font and change my font here to say Poppins. I can add my uh, borders. So basically you can see where I'm going with this. I can super customize this the way I want and my checkout form here is going to look exactly like how I want it. So these are the sort of things that really make a funnel builder much, much easier to customize because this can take you a really long time to customize your funnels. Now, I used to spend so much time trying to set up my um, funnels and all my steps, but with WP Funnels, I think they've really thought about how this needs to be working together. All right, so let's move on to the next thing because this is also super important so over here as we drag this here and uh, we uh, take a look at what is happening there are several ways that we can add even more options so here we have our down sell now let's say you have a super complicated funnel and as you can see i'm struggling here to see what is happening over to the right if you scroll down and click here on uh, this 100 percent, you can actually zoom out like that right 
fantastic. So now as you can see your complete funnel. Now, if you want to um, zoom back in, you can just click here on this plus button and that uh, makes you zoom back in. I know it's a small thing, but it's also super important because that is something that was frustrating me. Now, the other thing that I like about WP funnels is here we have this condition right here. Now, this condition works like this. If I click on this pencil icon, we can decide what happens on this condition. So let's say order bump is, uh, let's say, value accepted. Then we can also add this plus button and then click and or options. OK, I know this sounds very confusing, but it makes sense when we take a look here at this canvas. So let's say someone buys this ebook as an upsell. If it's true, then you want to take them to the thank you page. If it's false, then you want to take them to a down sale. And then once that goes through or not, then it goes to the thank you page. So this is how this condition here actually works. Super cool. I love this. Now, let's say at some point you want to add another step. So you can just click here on steps and you can choose what type of step it is. If it's an upsell, you can just add click here on upsell uh, and then choose your template from here or you can build it from scratch. If it's a down sale, again, this is going to show you all your down sales and you can either build it from scratch and also here you can use all these pre-made templates. OK, so let's move on to the next part, and that is the integrations. Now, this is really, really exciting. Guys, this has been really thought of. So the first thing that came to my mind was, how does this work with Fluent CRM? Because that's my CRM of choice. And guess what? They have this covered. If I come over here on integrations, it says here, enable the integration option, which is right here. But you know what? There's no point of enabling it here. I just wish that they'll just have all the integrations here so you can see them. But anyway, that's something that uh, can be added later on. But anyway, let's add our new integration here. So I'm going to click here and now I can select my CRM and look at that. I have Fluent CRM. So now I can say for this particular funnel. OK, this is a call to action trigger, right? So let's say someone purchases the main order, right? I can then say, OK, add them to a list. So I can come over here and go to my customer list. I can then also assign them a tag. So I can click here and say, OK, I want these to have a tag called customer and save. Now, bear in mind, you need to have created the tags and also the list ahead of time before you can assign them. OK, so let's say I'm happy with that. I can hit now save. But before I do that, you can also add other conditions. So let's say you can say, OK, uh, call to action has been triggered. You can then uh, select to add them to a list and also apply a tag. And if you're not happy with that, just click here and you get rid of it and click on save. So just just by doing that, my integration here has been added. Super, super awesome. OK, so let's go back over here. Now, something that I was really wondering was, OK, where are the stats? Because if you have a funnel, ideally, you want to see all your stats. So they have this covered, too. So all you need to do to see your stats is to, first of all, click here on this little icon here called stats. And by clicking that, you can now start seeing how many people have landed here and how many people have taken action. And this is super, super cool because you can see this in real time. But you can take this a step further and click on these three little icons. So first of all, let's hit save. Now, if you click on these three little icons here, you start to see now that we have analytics here. So if I select that, look at that. You have your gross sales, you have your average order value, you also have your order bump, offer revenue. And over here, you can also take a look at the specific steps and how they're performing. Now, this is super important because this is how you can go in and optimize what is not working. So let's say, for example, your landing page here looks great, but no one is really going to the checkout here. Your checkout uh, here is very low. That means maybe there's a few things that you may need to tweak on the checkout in order for this to work really, really well. So I really like the fact that you can see all the stats right here for the specific funnel. And we also have our visitors here. This data will show. And over here, you can also show all this data based on comparisons. So you can compare the previous and current year. Uh, and also over here, you can choose uh, which uh, time you want to show all your stats which is super, super amazing. I really, really like the UI of uh, WP Funnels. And I also like uh, the way things are just working here. There isn't really a massive uh, learning curve 
once you take a look at this, it's pretty much, you know, very, very easy to use. And I'm really, really, really uh, excited about this. Now, let's take a look here at something else, which I think is also very important. And that is over here on the settings. So I'm going to leave. So over here on the settings, uh, this is where you can set up your permalink. You can also come over here to your offer settings and say, okay, create a child theme for every accepted upsell or downsell. I really leave these as they are. Now, if you're a marketer, definitely you want to add all your codes. So your pixel code is here. You can just add it by adding it over here. And this will also save all your events. So add to cart, initiate checkout, purchase, and so on. You also have your Google Tag Manager over here, which is fantastic. And over here on the advanced settings, this is where now you can remove your transient cache. And also it tells you your current version. And if something's not working well, you can reinstall, you can reinstall it. But as you can see, it's a very, very simple settings dashboard. There isn't much going on here. And I also like the really cool thing here where they say uh, request a feature. Uh, definitely, I will be requesting some features over here, uh, which I like. And uh, some of these features here, in fact, they already have it. I wanted to uh, have a learn dash integration because these are the sort of tools that we use uh, every day and having them here integrated into our sales funnel software super super amazing so here on the roadmap we can also see that um, in progress is the multiple order uh, order bump offers with there's also uh, variable products support woocommerce uh, as i mentioned there's learn dash here so this is super super amazing i really like what is going on here now let's take a look at the pricing. So over here, for a single site, it is 97 uh, per year. For five sites, it's 147. I mean, this is standard um, pricing in the WordPress world. So it is not you know, very expensive. I really like the pricing structure here, super cool. But they also have a lifetime plan, which if you click here, this is where you get to see a one-time purchase of 237 for a site. Now, guys, 237 here may seem like it's a lot of money, but it's not really a lot of money. You can make this by selling a single product on your website or even having a single product by plus a few upsells. And remember, this is a lifetime license. So I think this is super generous. And for what sales funnels can do for your business, this is a great investment. But overall, I highly recommend this product. I think it's very, very easy to use. I like the fact that you just go straight into the canvas mode and start designing. You know, there's no messing about. And the fact that also it works with all these page builders and Gutenberg, you're able now to create very, very basic funnels. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some tutorials on how to uh, get you up and running with this. And I will also talk to the guys at WP Funnels and see if I can get a discount code for you guys. That will be super, super helpful. So anyway, guys, if I do get the coupon code, it's going to be in my video description below. So really check it out. What are your views about WP Funnels? please let me know in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Want to save time designing websites? Download my free SiteMaker DV template. It has a header, footer, a 404 page, and also buttons, text, headings, all pre-designed for you, giving you a professional working website right from the get-go. It is very easy to customize. It's 100% free. Link to that in the video description below. And if you haven't bought Divi yet, get 10% off when you use my link in the video description below.